Just getting texts in the break from friends who live in Washington, D.C., where I spent 30 years, people being shot all over the city, totally third world place, people living on the streets by the thousands. Do any members of Congress who are worried about QAnon notice this? Does Michael McCall notice this? What is happening to our capital city? They're allowing it to happen. Nothing's more infuriating than that, except maybe what's happening to Dr. Seuss. Because if it could happen to Dr. Seuss, it might happen to you. Dr. Seuss went from being a beloved childhood author to worse than Hitler in just a matter of days. On eBay, you are allowed to shop for copies of Mein Kampf. You can buy all the racist filth you want if it's about white fragility and Robin D'Angelo wrote it. But a number of Dr. Seuss books have been purged for, quote, offensive imagery. A spokesman from eBay put it this way, quote, eBay is currently sweeping our marketplace to remove these items. So now you're not even allowed to buy a used copy of Dr. Seuss's books. It's just too dangerous. Matt Walsh is the host of The Matt Walsh Show. He joins us tonight to explain what this means. Matt, thanks so much for coming on. I, I can't believe, A, I'm defending Dr. Seuss, and B, I think it's the big deal that I think it is. But I don't think I've seen a more depressing story, I don't know when, than eBay is making it impossible to buy used copies of Dr. Seuss books. Like, what, what does this portend? Seriously. Yeah, that's the thing. It's not it's not just about Dr. Seuss. And by the way, I thought that if the left was ever going to come after Dr. Seuss, it'd be, it'd be for like promoting elder abuse with hop on pop or something like that. But they chose an even more <laughs> an even more absurd reason. And it's but it's not just Dr. Seuss. The point is, we have these major corporations that now have the ability and are exercising that ability to shut down speech that they find offensive. Um, and and it, the, the question is not whether Oh, do they have the right to do it? I think that's totally the wrong question. It's, is it good for the country when major corporations can look at entire categories of speech and say, well, you're not allowed to see that anymore or read that. You can't read that book to your child anymore. We're just going to get rid of that. Is, that. is that a good situation for the country? I think obviously not. We ceded so much control to extremists without even knowing. If you're banning Dr. Seuss from eBay, you are by definition an extremist. I mean, that's what an extremist is. And yet they control our ability to buy books and to listen to music and they control our pictures and everything we've ever written on the cloud and like they control everything. Why didn't we realize we might come to a day like this? Yeah, well, that, that's a good question. And, and the, the, the point also is that if Amazon and eBay and these other companies say, well, we're not going to, we're not gonna call Dr. Seuss a conservative author, but they've also been doing that where they've been shutting down conservative books and saying that's hate speech. Well, if Amazon just makes a blanket policy and says, well, conservative books are uh, hate speech, then that means that those books aren't gonna be published anymore because publishers are gonna say there's no point in publishing a book that isn't gonna be distributed. And that means that that, that that speech is just shut down entirely. That's why the Daily Wire just did a poll, in fact, and found that two thirds of Americans are opposed to this kind of wokeism from corporate America for this very reason. By the way, you also mentioned, you know, this is all happening with Dr. Seuss all at once. That's, that's a good point because Dr. Seuss lived 100 years ago. His books, some of these books that are being, being banned right now have been in publication for 80 years, yet we just decided right now that it's a problem. Like all, just like over the summer, we decided that like a thousand statues all of a sudden have to be torn down all at once. What does right. that tell you? It tells you that it's, this is mass hysteria. That's, that's what this is and it should be, if for no other reason, there are a lot of reasons to oppose it, but we could oppose it simply on the fact that it's mass hysteria um, where all of these things are being taken down all at once. But with a purpose. I mean, they're demanding that you disavow your own ancestors, that you hate your own country, that, you know, you hate the books you read to your own children. I mean, it's deep, I think. I appreciate your coming on tonight, Matt. Matt Walsh. Thanks a lot.